I just, I just want to play some Fable. Let's do it. Let's play this game. I've been called to the picnic area because this picnic area is being terrorized by giant wasps. Just gonna, just gonna shoot these bugs with my arrows. Just, just gonna hit the bugs with my sword. But you know, if we just, if we just apply the gentlest bit of thought to this scenario, then this becomes a horrible situation to be in. If you have moderately sized, but very quick and agile wasps, then you don't want to be trying to hit them with arrows. And you honestly wouldn't want to be fighting wasps with a sword, either. That's just silly. I, uh, I sometimes have trouble hitting flies with a fly swatter, and this guy right here is knocking down wasps with, with a sword and arrows. Personally, I think that makes this kid pretty much the greatest archer swordsman that I've ever heard of. Heroism achieved, game over, roll credits. I think if I was ever attacked by a giant wasp like this, and I didn't have some kind of shotgun or a flamethrower, then I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't think I'd be able to survive. When a monster is of a sufficient size, like this giant wasp queen that you see over here, then it makes sense to fight it with a bow and arrow or something like that. If it's big enough to hit it, that's what I'm saying. But I think this situation would have made more sense if we started out by fighting some slower enemies. Isn't that how you're supposed to progress anyway in fantasy stories? You start off with little tasks and then work your way up. Honestly, I think fighting a giant mutant wasp is, that's just something they could have saved for a little while. It's the first boss of the game, giant mutant wasp. It's not a difficult boss, they made it easy to beat. They gave it low hit points, but thematically is what I'm saying. Thematically, the first boss should be, I don't know, a bear or something? But thinking about that, honestly, I don't even know if I'd be able to fight a bear either. Answer this honestly, if I gave you a bow and arrow, could you kill a bear? I mean, could you kill the bear before it killed you? You know what, what about a dog? If you gave me a bow and arrow and told me to fight a German Shepherd, then at that point, I think the dog would have maybe a 90% chance to win. Maybe a 95% chance to win. I think a German Shepherd would absolutely be able to take me down if you told me to fight it with a bow and arrow. I mean, if that arrow hits, then great, I win. But if I miss, which is pretty much a guarantee, then I'm pretty much going to be killed by a dog. All I'm saying is, I don't think I could survive in a fantasy world because I would probably lose a fight against all kind of normal animals